full time, Lions TV, Mill 2, Wigan 2. Oh, a bit gutted to be honest, because he was, he was there for the taking for us to be honest. First 10 we were sort of getting dominated by Wigan at the beginning. Let's, let's have it right, we could have been 2 0 down within 10 minutes. But you know, we sort of held on, showed our team togetherness and got one back. Then I thought it was ours. And then second half, you know, Wigan get a really, really poor goal. It's sort of like over the top of Hutchinson. Romeo can't doesn't stand the full back up, uh, the Wigan full back up and he finds the back of the net and then I'm thinking we we might lose this, but then again we showed our team togetherness. Matt Smith popping up with the uh, equaliser. I mean, I don't think anyone had a great game. Bar one, I don't think anyone had a poor game either. I'm gonna, I, I don't want to dig out Mahoney, but he's he's not really got involved in that first half. I think he's touched the ball two or three times. Uh, there's a little clear lack of pace where he was through. Uh, from the uh, sort of from our clearance, he was through and he didn't really show any sort of pace or, or creativity. I wasn't surprised he was brought off actually. Matt Smith again, he didn't do a lot, but he he he, sh he sort of gave us a, 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 another dimension going forward. And you know he did win he did win a lot of the aerial duels and um, for the for the second goal especially. I mean uh, Williams didn't have his best game, but he, he showed a bit, a bit of class there with that ball in. And uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to sort of be angry with the performance because we did show some heart and you know, there is a lot of work there for Rout to be getting on with with the team. I think the frustrating thing comes from, I think this team has potential to do something in this division, but at the moment it's sort of like they, they have a, a good spell for five minutes and then they sort of give it away for the other five minutes. So it's... You know, Rowett's got, got to get them boys together. I think you can clearly see he's got the, a, a team that want to play for each other. You can see that. I think you just got to, got to start brushing up on the uh, little things now, like a faster tempo of, of passing, putting balls in dangerous areas, stuff like that. And, you know, even the defending side of things, Romeo and Cooper need to sort of know when to go tight and when to give give the attacker half a yard because at the moment Hutchinson and Wallace Murray Wallace do it well but Romeo and Cooper sort of leave us a bit short change sometimes at the back which is frustrating you know I think Murray Wallace had a a perfect sort of defensive display second half and he actually does show signs of of good attacking play does he have it in him to go on to that next level and be that left back that can sort of create attacks I don't know it's like with Romeo, though Romeo's got good going forward, but can he go to that next level and, and know when to sit back and when to sort of um, pl plan his runs rather than going forward all the time? Because Murray Wallace can do it. The only problem is, is his sort of end product and maybe sort of tempo of passing. I mean, all in all, it, it's, it's, it was a sort of, you know, valiant display. But again, there's sort of like Jed Wallace, I didn't have his best game, but... You know he's in the team for for a reason because he can attack fullbacks. He can make something out of nothing, and he's he's, he's lightning quick. You know it is what it is. We've got to, got to move on to the weekend, and sort of row. It's got to sort of brush the players down and, and and sort of really give them some sort of impetus moving on. Because I think we we do have it in us to to we could have won today. That's that's a fact. We could have won today. Let's not let's have it right though. Wigan. Wigan weren't there to sit back. They gave us a good go at times. As I said, beginning the first 10 of the first half. In the second half, they, they, there was periods of, of Wigan pressure. And, you know, we've got, we got to sort of find out what our best formation formation and 11 is because at the moment, I think nine, nine players pick themselves, potentially 10. I think that the left wing is, is a big, big issue because... Thompson can't play there all season. It's good filling in because he can beat a man. You know he's got a bit of creativity about him. But we need we need a proper left wing. And if Mahoney isn't going to do it, then give Scalic a chance, and you know see what happens from there. Maybe you'll have to dip into the market. But you know, oh, yeah, happy with the point in the end. Sort of gutted it wasn't free, but you know we could have easily lost that as well as won it. So there you are.